Hi, today I have with me a very special guest, a global musical icon, the Mozart of Madras. You guessed it right, A.R. Rahman, the Oscar-winning musical composer who is in Dubai to lend the magic of his music to Expo 2020. Welcome, Mr. A.R. Rahman. Uh, in less than a week, Dubai is all set to host the world for Expo. What were your first impressions when you saw the site already? I've been seeing the site for almost two years. I've been coming in and out. And um, it's, even though we had a setback, you know, the whole world had a setback with COVID, they were jumping back and doing this. It's such a big statement because, um, you know, you see many countries suffering. They've got the whole infrastructure set and pattern blueprint for how to do things. So I'm super impressed. I'm enjoying my time here. You know, the, the first time that uh, when they announced that Expo is happening, you know, that there was no pandemic and then it struck and it just changed the way how we see life, how we live our daily life. Has it impacted your music, your creativity? In a way, yes, because I had um, 23 concerts last, last year in the US and everything. I had to cancel all this stuff. But I'm doing more movies because I used to do concerts more. There were less movies I was doing, but I've just the other side of me took off. And we were actually constantly working every day. We we're doing, you know, some Netflix thing or a movie or, you know, a theme song for somebody. And and on the Zoom was like a big bonus and bone, you. I would say, yeah. When Expo contacted you about this project, it's very different, unique from the other projects that you've done. What were your thoughts and why did you take up a project like this? Um, I think past 12 years, my life has been moving towards education and nurturing things and with my KM Conservatory, my foundation and then my, uh, you know, even the motto of a foundation is to create bridges to understanding and empowering people um, underprivileged. And so my daughter is a feminist and even though she likes me <laughs> and uh, so I get inspired by, you know, my own daughters and in our studio, we have a lot of interns and you know staff who's or women who are producers, supervisors, and so it's not a whole new thing. My intimidation towards people has come down in, in like probably in 20 years. <laughs> before I used to shut myself up, even before singing, I wouldn't allow anybody. So much more freer, I think, the way. So when they. Um, Excellency Reem Al Hashmi, she asked that, would you, would you, AR, can you start an orchestra here? I said, fantastic, let's do it. And even though I've not done that in a, this big way, I think they've facilitated everything which we wanted. A studio and the world's best equipment and it's a, a screening place. And so we've been setting up this for two years and it's fascinating to see how it's all becoming a reality. Okay, great. Uh, tell us a little more about Firdo's orchestra and uh, you know, what is it? What is the musical treat that is in store for all the visitors coming from across the world? First of all, it's a big statement. <clears throat> the world is uh, has a certain opinion about the Middle East. Oh, women are like this, and they don't play music. They don't. But here, you know, Dubai is a, is a place. Yes, place. Everything is a yes. Yes, it's possible. Yes, we can do this. Yes, we can progress. And this, this is another statement. And and you know, we can bring in. People from across the region, from you know, from Oman, Syria, Lebanon, Iraq, and Croatia and Armenia, all of them coexisting and understanding each other like the sisterhood, and um, so that is a statement because people fear what they don't understand, and when they are together when doing something beautiful like music, um, all all these people understand each other and they're setting up a big statement for them and through music. Fantastic. But is there a special reason why you chose an all-women orchestra? Is there a thought behind that? It to equalize things <laughs> because men dominate the world <laughs> and it's time, the time has come and also it's, Dubai is such a safe place. And uh, so we felt like it's a great statement from you. So equalizer, which usually, you know, you never see that. Not that they are not going to be men. I'm, some of the engineers are men, and, but the conductor is, uh, female and also they have their own voice they have their own cravings of what kind of music they want to do for instance when I was supposed to write music I'm supposed to write uh, 10 I'm working on it and uh, then I said why don't I take pieces from the members of the orchestra so we were jamming with the Arabic uh, ensemble 
and there was Hanan who played the bazook and she started playing something beautiful. I said, that's a piece, that we can arrange that as a piece for the for those orchestra. And then there was Sahar who played um, the Kanun and she played the Turkish march and it was inspired by her playing. I said, okay, let's arrange this for as you starting this piece. And so it all comes from them and so it has its originality from the members of the Philos Orchestra, whether it's Yasmina or the Mesa Kara, who's um, the creative consultant. So it all comes from them. So, so uh, as you mentioned earlier, I'm sure you uh, you got a brownie point from your daughter, <laughs> because you said it's a feminist was ha having an all women orchestra. But uh, how was the experience of mentoring this group of women, and what did you discover? I mean, just sharing all. Um, the things which I've done in the past, so we don't have to go around, you know, in circles. So sometimes, you know, like putting out this video was my decision. So like, let's put this video out, so people experience the sound, um, what the promo which released yesterday, and also take pieces which are familiar and also arrange it to this orchestra. So people come in because they can listen to anybody. They can go to Europe, listen to America, listen to classical orchestras. But what is so special about this? the personality of this orchestra has to come out. So that's why we're pushing in. And compositions from them sometimes, and solos from them, and also suggestions from them. And so, yeah. yeah. How would you describe uh, the personality of this orchestra, as you mentioned, in a, in a word or in three words? So I never have a definitive, like a story, you know, like you never have a definitive imagination of it till you see, till you experience, till you, um, so I was waiting for the members to all form. I was looking at the auditions again and again. And some of them had this unique prowess and virtuoso kind of quality about playing Arabic instruments or the way they play the harp. Or So that inspired me to like, oh, with her kind of, uh, you know, capabilities, why don't we do this piece? Why can't she lead this piece? And so this is how I selected the piece. Okay. Could you tell us a little more about, like, how many compositions are there in, or in this orchestra? How many of them are yours? Would you just take me through the contents? That okay, I'm see? I'm writing a lot of pieces for the orchestra, but the first big uh, premiere for my piece is going to be Space Day, 23rd. And so there we're going to perform pieces about space, and 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 then the end will have premiere of my new piece, which is which I'm doing. They have a thing around eight to ten concerts, and there will be a lot of performance from the studio. Will be stream to the, the public to see and uh, some workshops are going to happen and deep listening and the studio has a lot of activities we're doing once. Okay and what is the legacy of Firdos that you're looking at after the expo? Uh, Firdos hopefully will stand and we're going to continue the idea of Firdos and also building up the careers of you know the locals who are aspiring musicians so they can come on, check out, they can also get empowered, they can learn the technique of um, playing music or you know recording music or production and that's the whole idea, to inspire. Firdos is actually an inspirational um, orchestra. It's not just an orchestra for music, but they set a statement for inspiring the whole world. And because some of them have come from, I told you, from places like you know Oman and Syria and, and Iraq, when I see them, you know, not losing hope and faith and believing in, in the sense of happiness they come and they play in the orchestras, so reassuring for me. And I said, yeah, it's all worth it. Yeah, fantastic. Do we have an Emirati talent uh, yeah. in the orchestra? How many of them are there? Uh, the main lady who's heading, Noura, she's Emirati. And then we have a string section, we have a Oud also, right? Yeah. And we are also developing, we're going to develop uh, the um, second generation of you know musicians coming from them because every school is teaching classical music and it's not just this orchestra they're going to be cyclic they're going to give back and they're going to have more members and M many musical milestones that you've had as in your career how is for those going to be special for you for those actually i would say in a way i feel like the whole, my whole life's learning is to give back to Firdos <laughs> because it's so um, cathartic for me to come to a place like Dubai, which I'm born in India, and share my knowledge with people here, and also learning a lot because when you when you're teaching, you're learning, 
and it's, it's not just one way. We're learning because the world is evolving, the world is changing, the world needs new things to come in. The old things are outdated, you know, the knowledge, um, the philosophy, wisdom is evolving, people are changing. That world doesn't exist anymore, there's a new world. And to this new world, what is music? What is art? What is empowerment? How much to give, how much to take? You know, these are the questions which are getting answered here. Fantastic. Yeah. Thank you so much yeah. and really looking forward to listening to you right. and having the, those experiences. Thanks. Thank you.